Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's a, a mega review for you. I have uh, Thunderbolts 157, uh, Astonishing X Men 38, Snake Eyes number one, Amazing Spider Man 661, and Avengers Academy 14. I'll start off with Avengers Academy. Now, I love this cover. The, my only complaint about this cover is I just wish it was bigger. Um, like, I love it, the way of, all the positioning of the characters are and everything. But, like, I would love to have seen a larger Rhino. But other than that, this was like I thought it started off with a nice cover. Anyways, inside, what we have is basically um, like a distress call to go to France. Uh, nobody's available, so they send um, uh, the Avengers Academy. And what it turns out is they run into the Sinister Six. And right now, the Avengers Academy is like on a really like a like a big high because of you know, they were able to defeat Crowback, and so they, you know, they pretty much think they can defeat anything. Well, the Sinister Six pretty much just, d just wipes the place, from, uh, um, wipes the floor with them, and puts them in their place, and I think this is like a really, really important issue, because it, you know, like, it basically states, you know, look, you know, you're not as good as you think you are, you need to do your training, and it put a little bit of humility um, onto them. Um, I thought the fighting fight sequences were really good, the art was really good, and um, I, it really, really picked up with this issue here. Uh, now along with the, these um, these two kind of almost go hand in hand in that uh, this is basically with Spider-Man and Hank Pym basically, I thought that was kind of funny at the beginning where uh, Hank Pym is looking for uh, you know, somebody to teach the Avengers Academy. Uh, Spider-Man wants to teach the kids because it reminds him of, um, you know, back in his days in high school. But Reed's like, no, 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 you know, you're going to disrupt their training. or They're at a very critical stage in their education. And um, so happens that Hank Pym comes up and he's going to, he makes an offer and Spider-Man's like, I'll accept, but it's actually, his offer was to Ben Grimm. But then Spider-Man basically convinces him that he's the right guy for it. And as you can imagine, the uh, classroom just kind of goes absolutely nowhere. Uh, he doesn't know, he doesn't have a plan, he doesn't know what to do, and the kids are basically all smarter than him. And um, so I thought that part was kind of funny. So then eventually he goes out on patrol, but then he realizes, well, you know, normally what happens is I, you know, use my spider sense to detect trouble, in this case, I can't. But for luckily for us, for the story, he stumbles upon Psycho Man, and this was actually the, the fight sequences weren't too bad. It sh basically shows the difference between like a, a newbie hero and like a true hero, and I thought that part was kind of in, was was definitely good. It kind of went back to the old Spider Man. If you remember the time like when Spider Man uh, was fighting Doc Ock. And then, you know, he remembered there's all that stuff that caved in on him, and he, everybody thought he was going to die, but he basically stood up and got out of that mess, because, you know, for Aunt May. And so it, it kind of reminded me of that. And overall, I thought this was a good, this was a pretty decent issue. Um, so both of these were definitely pretty good. Uh, now for Snake Eyes Civil War, this is um, the first issue for the Snake Eyes Limited series, and this basically is continuing with the Cobra Civil War. And I thought this was actually a really cool issue. Uh, basically, for those of you who don't know, Cobra Commander was assassinated, and so basically an order was given in order to determine who's the next Cobra Commander. Uh, the one who creates the most havoc for the Joes is the one who's basically going to get it. Well, a couple of the Joes got killed, and it turned out that these two guys were... Um, taught by Snake Eyes, so then they basically go off on a quest to figure out, you know, what's going on. And they, they lead them to basically um, an Arctic base. So uh, there's not a lot of action in this issue, but I think the arts, art was solid. The, um, the story was, so far is pretty, really entertaining. And if you haven't been, if you have not started uh, G.I. Joe, this might be a good time to do it. Since the, especially since this miniseries just started. Uh, there was only like a zero issue with, where Cobra Commander dies, and then there was uh, one other issue before this one. 
uh, overall was really entertaining. Now with the Astonishing X-Men number 38, uh, what we have here is the return of the brood. Now, I, I like the brood, but sometimes I don't. It's like a weird uh, give and take relationship, a love-hate relationship, I should say. Now in terms of this artwork, I think there's some really good parts to it. Like I love the way the brood look. I love some of the facial expressions. Um, but on the other hand, I, I hate other facial expressions and like, you know, Kitty Pride. I hate the way the beast looks like. And um, it, it's, you know, there's like the beast. And it's just like, uh, it was like, uh, like I said, I, it was parts of it I loved and other parts of it was driving me crazy. Uh, we also have the reuniting of um, Kitty Pride and Lockheed. I really like Lockheed, and I'm glad to see that they brought him back. Um, you know, hopefully he'll become a more permanent fixture, but somehow I doubt it. Um, and basically, in this issue, all that's going on is the brood, basically. Um, Sword was doing some experimentation about, like, removing or reversing the um, incubation. And um, accidentally, the brood queen got away, and then from there, chaos and... Um, impregnation type stuff occurred. Um, overall, though, I mean, it's a, it was an interesting read. Um, I'm definitely going to read the next one, though. And finally, Thunderbolts 157. Overall, I can say everything about the Thunderbolts is consistent. The art, it's kind of quirky looking, but it just fits and works for me. I don't like if this was in a Spider-Man book, I don't know if I could enjoy it as much. But in Thunderbolts, it just it just fits. Um, we have the the, uh, the continuation of the Hellboyish type storyline with the undead, and while that's going on, like ever, like all the superhero teams are obviously all busy and whatnot for one reason or another, conveniently. So what they do is they send off. If you remember in the previous issue, they send off um, their, their their new recruitments, which is you know you have Mr. Hyde, uh, Boomerang, Shocker, um, that girl who's um, from, from Asgard. And um, I love that I love that picture with the girl with the, the axe. Um, you also have a, a rift between um, Luke Cage and Juggernaut. Like everybody started to become, they basically start seeing their worst fears, and from their tension between the Juggernaut and Luke Cage happen. And then right from this, then we go to um, um, which one call it uh, fear itself because. Juggernaut's left behind while the rest of the team goes, and he's off the train. Um, and then, um, overall, though, Thunderbolts, like I said, it's consistently a solid read for me. I'm, I'm, constantly, I'm constantly coming back to this, enjoying it. I like the unpredictability of it. Um, the characters are great, and um, I think they're definitely hitting a home run every single time with this book. Um, so, overall, if you haven't been reading Thunderbolts, definitely you might want to give that one a try. Um, so anyways, that's my review for these. Overall, all these titles here were pretty decent. Uh, nothing made me want to, like, pull hair out or anything. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. I'll rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. And, um, I'll have, uh, more reviews coming up since we have new comic day on, uh, Wednesday. And I'm going to do a special thing on, uh, the Cosmic Cube probably within the next day or so. So, um, until next time.